U.S. troops are getting prepared to attack some North Vietnamese positions. Operation Rolling Thunder was the code name for an American bombing campaign during the Vietnam War. U.S. military aircraft attacked targets throughout North Vietnam from March 1965 to October 1968. Welcome to the Historyland channel and don't forget to check out our previous videos. Beginning in the 1950s, the US provided military equipment and advisors to help the government of South Vietnam to resist against the communist takeover by North Vietnam and its South Vietnam-based allies, the Viet Cong guerrilla fighters. In 1962, the American military initiated limited air operations within South Vietnam in an effort to offer air support to South Vietnamese army forces and destroy suspected Viet Cong bases. President Lyndon B. Johnson expanded American air operations in August 1964 when he authorized retaliatory airstrikes against North Vietnam following a reported attack on U.S. warships in the Gulf of Tonkin. Later that year, Johnson approved limited bombing raids on the Ho Chi Minh Trail, a network of pathways that connected North Vietnam and South Vietnam by way of neighboring Laos and Cambodia. The president's goal was to disrupt the flow of manpower and supplies from North Vietnam to its Viet Cong allies. The Operation Rolling Thunder bombing campaign began on March 2, 1965, partly in response to a Viet Cong attack on a U.S. airbase at Pleiku. The Johnson administration cited a number of reasons for shifting U.S. strategy to include systematic aerial assaults on North Vietnam. For example, administration officials believed that heavy and sustained bombing might encourage North Vietnamese leaders to accept a non-communist government in South Vietnam. The administration also wanted to reduce North Vietnam's ability to produce and transport supplies to aid the Viet Cong insurgency. Finally, Johnson and his advisors hoped to boost morale in South Vietnam while destroying the communists' will to fight. The operation gradually expanded in both range and intensity. At first, the airstrikes were restricted to the southern portion of North Vietnam. However, U.S. leaders eventually moved the target area steadily northward to increase the pressure on the communist government. By mid-1966, American planes were attacking military and industrial targets throughout North Vietnam. The only areas considered off-limits for the bombing raids were the cities of Hanoi and Haiphong and a 10-mile buffer zone along the border of China. Shortly after the operation began in 1965, Johnson committed the first U.S. ground troops to the Vietnam War. Although their initial mission was to defend air bases in South Vietnam that were being used in the bombing campaign, the troops' role soon expanded to include engaging the Viet Cong in active combat. As the North Vietnamese army became more heavily involved in the conflict, Johnson steadily increased the number of American forces in Vietnam. Although North Vietnam did not have much of an air force, its leaders managed to mount an effective defense against the bombing raids. With assistance from China and Soviet Union, the North Vietnamese constructed a sophisticated air defense system. Using surface-to-air missiles and radar-controlled anti-aircraft artillery, the North Vietnamese shot down hundreds of American planes over the course of the bombing campaign. As a result, pilots and aircraft weapon systems operators accounted for the majority of the American prisoners of war, who were captured and held by North Vietnam. North Vietnamese leaders also took a number of other steps to reduce the impact of the American bombing raids. They constructed networks of bomb-proof tunnels and shelters and dispatched crews by night to rebuild the roads, bridges, communication systems and other facilities struck by bombs. 
Additionally, the communists used the destructive airstrikes for propaganda purposes to increase anti-American sentiment and patriotism among North Vietnamese citizens. The sustained bombing of North Vietnam lasted for more than three years, with occasional brief interruptions. Johnson finally halted the campaign on October 31, 1968, in order to pursue a negotiated settlement with the communists. Despite the difficulties encountered by the Johnson administration during Operation Rolling Thunder, President Richard M. Nixon, Johnson's successor, resumed the bombing of North Vietnam shortly after taking office in 1969. In 1972, Nixon unleashed another massive bombing campaign against North Vietnam called Operation Linebacker. Between March 1965 and November 1968, U.S. Air Force aircraft had flown around 154,000 attack sorties against North Vietnam, while the Navy and Marine Corps had added another 152,000. On 31st of December 1967, the Department of Defense announced that 864,000 tons of American bombs had been dropped on North Vietnam during Rolling Thunder, compared with 653,000 tons dropped during the entire Korean War and 503,000 tons in the Pacific Theater during the Second World War. Due to the combat and operational circumstances, 506 US Air Force, 397 Navy, and 19 Marine Corps aircraft were lost over or near North Vietnam. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.